Hi, I'm Jake, and this is Rolando, the San Francisco fan, and we're going to make this San Francisco sign for you for our light box today. Here we go. I made this light box project last year. A lot of people like it. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. It lights up. Ooh, see that? It's time for the Patriots to move, and it's actually getting promoted. It's going to go up next to my Marine Corps flag. I have a viewer and a friend named Rolando Fuentes that brought me a lot of San Francisco stuff. So today we're gonna change this sign out for a San Francisco sign. And I'm gonna show you how I do it on the Laguna IQ CNC machine with VCarve Pro. So here we go. Here we are at VCarve Pro. And first thing I'm gonna do is create a new file. And it comes up here and wants you to give the X and Y, which means your, your width width and your depth of your material and ours is going to be 13 by 13 and I've already put that in there the thickness of the of the wood is roughly an inch thick and I'm going to put the offset at the middle and that'll give me a reference where the middle is this way and the middle is this way here it just makes it easier for me and that's all we got for this screen right here we're going to go to the next screen we hit OK and I need a logo and I already stole one off of Google and so I'm gonna come up here to this thingy right here it says import bitmap for tracing so I'm gonna import that and right here is my San Francisco sign and I'm gonna open it the first thing I'm gonna do is adjust the size to appropriate size for this material just double click on that and grab one of the edges and move it. It's pretty close right there. And so now we need to turn this into vector. So we're going to come over to this little bird button right here. You can see that right there. We're going to click on that. And we're on black and white. And this is a black and white picture. And if you can see, you move this back and forth. And all I'm doing is I'm going to get to where it's the cleanest. Maybe somewhere right in the middle, wherever it put me. And then I'm going to come down here. And you can play with all these, these things right here. But normally the defaults are pretty close. So I'm going to preview that and to me that looks pretty good so I'm going to apply it and then I'm going to close out of that section so we need to I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is group all these together and I do that by highlighting them all and then right clicking group objects right here so now they're all grouped together so now you click on it again and you'll get your squares up here all I'm gonna do is move these off the dark background and then I'm gonna erase this so I can see better so all you do is you right click this and delete it and then I'm gonna come over here and click on this again so I can move it and I want it a little bit above and maybe a little bit smaller so I'm going to adjust that so on my other signs there's light shining through and I think on this one I want the S and the F to shine light through those so I'm going to separate those from all the other ones so I'm going to right click on it and I'm gonna ungroup the objects and I'm ungroup them back to the original layers and here we are so now all these are individual they're individual vectors so basically I wanna separate this and then you hit shift and go hit the other ones you want I want this one this one 
and this one and I'm gonna group those together that should be good and now I'm gonna click off that and I'm gonna group the rest of these together I right click that group it together so now we have that and we have this and now the other thing is San Francisco is a five time Super Bowl champion so I'm gonna put five times down here and I'm just gonna go to text and I'm gonna put five times five times put space in there and then we find whatever font we want and we want it true type and probably bold and, so the font like. and we'll apply it and I'll close out of that and move this down here and make it bigger a little bit bigger than that and we'll have that the light shining through that too that looks pretty good and so I'm gonna add this to this other group and you'll see why in a minute and you hit shift and highlight those two and we'll group them together pretty good to me this will be simple and fast and that's the point of this whole thing is to make it easy so I'm gonna come over here click on tool paths and pin it and we need to highlight what we want to do let's do that one first and I want that to go all the way through so that's gonna be a, a pocket pocket tool path and start depth we want to be zero and the cut depth we want it to be an inch and we're gonna do a quarter inch in mill and then we come down here and calculate it okay and now we want to see what it looks like so I'm gonna slow this down a little bit so we get to see what's going on and we'll preview visible tool pass so that's pretty cool so now I'm gonna close this it looks like a good tool pass right there I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna click off of that and click the rest of them and then we'll make a tool pass for that we're just gonna do a a quick engraving tool pass and we want to change our tool to a 60 degree probably there's our 60 degree and okay and our depth pressure I think we want to let's go one tenth of an inch down and see what that looks like and we'll calculate it come down here to this picture right here preview to preview tool pass and we'll preview the visible tool pass and then we can see what this looks like we can turn it see if we like it I think that'll look cool with the light shining through it so there's our two tool paths and that's all it takes to make a sign for my light boxes here so I'm gonna close that and so now all you do is save your tool paths quick engrave one 
and I'm gonna say SF one save and then I'm gonna highlight the pocket and I'm gonna save that tool pass I'm just gonna put SF2 on there I'm gonna put these on the jump drive and we're gonna go back out to the shop and we're gonna cut this thing now I just showed you how easy it was to make a simple sign on vCar Pro now here's the Laguna IQ CNC machine. I did a review on it a while back. I'll put a card up there, up there. And here's the, um, the cut list around this jump drive right here. This is plugs right into the top of the handheld controller here. No big deal. Let's get started. Now I've already cut this material to the right size, 13 by 13. I've wedged it in here, it's not going anywhere. And I also marked the center of this board since we chose to have the starting port of the machine at the center of the board. So I have it marked right there. Now I gotta turn the machine on, turn the water on, and then set up the X, Y, and Z axis. Now every time you start the machine up, it's gonna ask you, it's gonna tell you to do all axis home. All that does is this machine's gonna go all the way to the front, all the way to the left, and the X axis is, or the Z axis is gonna go all the way to the top. So all it's doing is finding where it's at. So all you do, every time you start it up, you're gonna have to hit the green button to tell it all axis home. Now what we need to do is tell, we need to show the machine where it's at. We need to go to this center section in our board right here and do the X and Y, and then we'll do the depth, and I'll show you how to do it right now. These here, you can see these numbers, this six buttons right here, are X plus, X minus, Y plus, Y minus, and so on, Z plus, Z minus. Then you move this whole machine around doing that, and then you get where you want, and go from there. So I'm gonna put this right over that mark in the middle of that board. I have that bit right over the center mark of that board. So, right here, X and Y is zero. I'm gonna hit that one. And I see those, the X and Y turned into zeros right there, so we know that that knows exactly where it's at. So now we need to find the depth. We need to find the top of this according to that bit. That just happens to be the right bit already installed, the 60 degree bit we're gonna do for our first cut. So I'm gonna find the depth of that by using our little tool here. There's a plug-in at the top of the machine. Plug it in the top of the machine, set it under the bit, and then we hit on, off, and menu, and that that's, sets that in motion. Now you unplug that, get it out of the way. So now right now, this machine knows where it's at this way, it knows where it's at this way, and it knows where it's at this way, X, Y, Z. Texas terms, this way, this way, this way. So now we're gonna go to our cut list. You hit run, pause, delete. You disk file. You hit the green button, yes and then we find it. SF1, that's the one we wanted, right? So the X, there's an arrow there and an arrow there. You highlight it, hit SF1, and we're ready to go. That was pretty fast. Now we only have one more cut list to do. I need to change that blade to a quarter inch end mill. I'm gonna do that and then we get this other one done. It's the same procedure as doing that cut list. So I'm not gonna bore you with the details and we're gonna get to it. Now the only thing we need to do after we change a bit is find how long that bit is or we need to find the surface again because those two bits aren't the same length. So we're gonna use this little tool again and we're gonna find where the top of this is. Now let's cut.
Here it is. We got to update our sign of our light box, San Francisco 49ers. We got to hang out with Rolando. We got to do some CNC and some VCAR Pro demonstration. If you have any questions with any of that stuff, then go ahead and put in the comments below. I'll answer you if I can. If not, I'll leave a link to John Carrasco from Laguna in the comment in the description below. If this is your first time to see one of my videos, go ahead and subscribe, like and share and all that YouTube stuff, and we'll see you next time. Y'all be good. Forget anything?